Hello everyone. Welcome to Taxation Myth. In this session, we will discuss about another topic related to shell script. In our previous session, we discussed how to declare variable, how to print the value which is present in your variable, right? But now, assume a scenario where we are supposed to take the input value from user. Or you can say we are going to accept the input from user and on after uh, accepting that value we will try to print that although we can do modification also on that value but for now let's go with a very simple approach we will just accept the input from the user and then we will try to print it okay so these are the all thing that we are going to perform in this particular session now you know that for uh, demo purpose we need one shell script file and directory so there is already one directory I have created so we are going to use the same directory and there I have already created one shell script file so in that shell script file we will try to execute different different type of scenarios for accepting the input value so let's start and see how we are going to proceed and once everything is clear like related to the shell script uh, input accept process then we will perform uh, we, we will try to execute the shell script through CL program okay so let me run one command here work LNK page down then here you will find one directory which is texture mid taking option 5 here and this is the script file that I have already created and remember one thing this file is executable if you don't know how to make your shell script file executable then please go and check out the previous session because there we have already discussed this thing okay so this is the file where I have just um, stored some multi-line command this is also uh, discussed in previous sessions like how to declare so here I want to say one thing like if you uh, are not sure like about the basic things then I rec recommend you to go and check out the pre uh, previous series because each and every session is in a proper sequence so if you follow the sequence you it would be much easier for you to understand the ongoing things because for now we are just focusing on the input values like how to accept input parameters clear fine so now we can see presented by uh, this is just for the demo for the introduction purpose uh, session is accept input in shell script all right so what we will do we will accept some input so here I'm inserting few blank line okay so first thing uh, let's say I want to print one message echo and this uh, here you can mention enter please enter your name and then colon colon is not a part of syntax this is just a string okay so you can write anything but for now I'm just writing like this please enter your name and then colon so what this line will do it will print this message on a shell script now after that in order to accept the input we will use the keyword read read then space and here you can put your username or whatever your variable name is so I just keep it as username fine so what this line will do it will accept the input in a variable username so once you have received the value in a variable then we are good to print it right so you can simply write here echo user name is so this is just text colon and after that I'm going to access the variable actual value by using a dollar so user name you got my point so what we are doing we are just printing one text please enter your name then we are reading the variable read username and it what it will do it will read the value and store it into username and then we are using echo command to print the value again I want to clear one thing this is just a normal text and this is the value because when we are trying to access the value then we are using dollar symbol clear fine so now if I do F3 for save and exit and let's go to the session B here to run this script what I will do I'll simply write QSH which will open the QShell command prompt again one important thing if you don't know how to make it executable please make the file executable otherwise it will not work here so my file is already executable file and I have pr provided the required permission through chmod command so that's why I'm writing direct my script slash home shermit slash and tech shermit then shermit dot sh so once I okay something is wrong here let me check what is wrong 
slash home then slash share myth then slash tech something is wrong with the spelling yeah s h a r m i t and then slash share myth dot sh so now if i try to hit enter you will see it is printing one message please enter your name and notice one thing after this there is no dollar symbol that means this script is still processing because every time when we complete the like here also if it returns error then it shows the dollar symbol that means the command is completed but right now it is not showing that dollar symbol that means it is waiting for our input so please enter your name here I can put my name as a Sharmit then enter and after that what it did it just printed the text username is Sharmit and then it shows the dollar symbol that means now this command has completed and it uh, throws the dollar symbol as a completion of your script clear so what we uh, what we did in this uh, particular example we just printed one text please enter your name then user in key in the input which is username you can put any name it is up to you and then we printed the name through text let me show you by changing the name also if I run it again here I let's say I want to print ABCD enter and now you can see it is printing username is ABCD clear so yeah this is how we can accept the input through uh, script shell script now there might be few questions from you guys like what will happen if we pass the username uh, with quotes will it work let me show you that so right now if I try to pass it with quotes see what will happen on pressing enter it is printing the name even uh, it is also including the quotes that means you you are supposed to pass direct name not the quotes otherwise it will also printed in the name fine all right now another experiment uh, we can do is by accepting the numeric value so for that what we can do we can slightly modify this script here let's add one more line echo please enter your user ID okay and so this this will just print the text then we want to accept the user ID so I'll simply write user ID okay then a space after receiving it we are going to print this so echo please enter sorry uh, here we are going to print the user ID user ID is colon and then dollar user ID okay so this is the simple uh, flow firstly we ex uh, printed the message please enter your name then we read the name and we printed the name then we enter please enter your user ID read the user ID and then we printed the user ID so let's verify it pressing F3 for save and exit always perform exit save and exit both otherwise it will give because if you all only try to save it and try to run it it will give error so I just press F3 two times for save and exit then we will try to run this script again so let me rewrite the path slash home slash shermit slash tech shermit slash shermit met dot sh on pressing enter it is asking for the name so let me pass it as shermit then it is you can see now it is not showing dollar symbol it is directly asking for the new text which is please enter your user ID so here I'm trying to pass it as one two three four then enter and then it printed the user ID is one two three four and username is Sharmit okay so yeah these are the all steps that we can perform and remember one thing these are the case sensitive things so please don't change the case until unless it is needed fine so this is clear now what we will see let's say if same script I want to try through uh, CL what will happen work MBR PDM so here I have already created one program so in this program I just declared variable DCL variable name to type storage length then CSG where provide your variable name and the script which is slash home shermit text shermit shermit dot sh and then we are using strqsh provide variable name so what it will do it will execute the command okay let's see what will happen because right now we are not providing any input so you can see it is just printing the text whatever present in a script it is not waiting for the 
is it is not uh, accepting input because we, this is a terminal session right not a QCL session so here we are not supposed to pass the value so maybe you can try to figure out like how we can accept the value through CL like if I ran this script through CLs then how we can accept it okay because right now what it did it just printed uh, please enter your name then username is please enter your user ID and user ID is okay but this is not we were expecting right we were accepting uh, expecting to uh, accept the values also but fine uh, I think script part is clear like how we can uh, ac accept the user uh, input through shell script and for CL like we will also cover that part in the upcoming session but for now uh, that's all uh, what I wanted to share with you all so I hope today's session is clear to all of you in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching TechShare method